This week's Thomas Index Report is sponsored by Cordova and Associates, a woman-owned small business supplying puzzles with customized imprinting options. Welcome to the Thomas Index Report for the week of July 27th. As a quick reminder, before we start today's index report, you can find all of our COVID-19 resources and register your industrial business as a COVID-19 response supplier by visiting thomasnet.com slash COVID-19. This week, we're piecing together sourcing activity trends for puzzles. Search activity for puzzles on the thomasnet.com platform is up 382% year over year and 225% over last quarter averages. Because many Americans are staying home to limit the spread of COVID-19, they're looking for activities to keep them entertained. And for many of them, puzzles have clearly been the answer to staving off boredom during quarantine. Puzzles are flying off the shelves and manufacturers are racing to meet skyrocketing demand. The United States has the second biggest market volume for puzzles worldwide. In fact, U.S. puzzle industry is expected to bring in $609 million in 2020, a figure that will likely go higher considering the unexpected boom in puzzle sales because of the coronavirus. The puzzle manufacturing process is actually surprisingly complex. Images must be carefully selected and transferred onto cardboard before being stamped or die cut into individual pieces using over a thousand tons of pressure. A laser inspects each puzzle after it is cut to ensure each piece is accounted for and to identify any potential erroneous cuts because the production process can take a number of weeks. It's been difficult for manufacturers to ramp up production to match massively increased demand during COVID-19 closures. Many puzzle manufacturers are optimistic about the positive impact of COVID-19 on the niche market. Many believe that Americans stuck at home solving puzzles during quarantine will become long-term fans of the pastime and that market demand will continue even after citizens can return to their typical daily routines in the post-COVID future. I'm Tony Uphoff, and this is the Thomas Index Report. <music>